Hi guys, welcome back. And if you remember a couple of days before I released a video on browser automation with browser use and we saw how the browser use can actually perform an action on the browser with the power of large language model because it acts like an agent which can perform the uh, action by getting the user prompt and gets the information processed from the large language model and then it sends to the playwright uh, to perform an action on the browser. That's what is this browser use tool. We already discussed about it in another video. So please go and watch the video. It's there in the description below. But today we're going to see how we can use the browser use to run using the local large language model instead of using uh, OpenAI's uh, GPT model that we used in our last uh, video. So as you can see, this is the code that we discussed in our uh, last video where we were using uh, the GPT-4.0 model uh, and we just tried doing this Python 3 of the browser uh, use demo, which actually uh, started calling uh, an actual browser and whatever that I have given on the prompt, it is then going to uh, perform the action on the browser. As you can see, it opens the, uh, the browser and then it is going to perform the login operation and then it's going to create the user and stuff. We saw how these are all working. And I got so many comments on the particular video from people asking like, hey, Karthik, can we use the local large language model, especially with DeepSeek, if it is possible uh, to run the uh, run the same thing that we are seeing over here. So is it even possible there that we can use the browser use tool? And today in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can able to achieve that operation. We'll try with the DeepSeek. And I will also tell you that DeepSeek is not something that you can really, really use to perform this operation because DeepSeek needs what is called as a tooling support. And even if you have the tool support model, if you download from uh, from the uh, Aulama, it is really not working. I'll show you all these things. And also I will then finally use the QN model, which actually performs certain operation, but you will see what happens at the end. So let's jump in uh, with the browser use of a local large language model over here. Uh, and then I will, um, you see that I'm using the QN uh, 2.5 latest model. But before I get to this particular model, let's try to use the DeepSeek uh, R1 model and see if that really works. So let me go and open my terminal over here. Uh, and I have already opened the uh, Olama, which is up and running. And also I have downloaded the uh, the model, the DeepSeek model. So if you just go type the Olama uh, list over here, you can see that I have got the DeepSeek R1 8 billion parameter model. And I've also got a couple more models over here. Um, and you can see that I have the biggest model of Llama 3.1, 70 billion parameter, which is like 42 GB, which is crazy. Uh, and they also have got a tooling, tool calling uh, DeepSeek model. I will get there once I uh, talk about it. But let's say if I'm going to use this DeepSeek uh, R1 8 billion model. So if you're not really downloaded before, please try to download it because that's what we are going to be using in this particular video. So if you just go to uh, the Olama website over here and if we go choose the models, uh, you will see that this is the model that I'm using, the DeepSeek R1, uh, and it's 8 billion parameters, uh, which I have really downloaded and installed it over here in my uh, terminal. Uh, and now let's try to use this particular model, right? So what's not? Uh, so let's just copy this uh, and go to our uh, VS Code, paste it over here, save this, and I'm gonna uh, open this terminal like that. Uh, and I'm gonna say, uh, Python 3 uh, browser use local large language model and I'm going to hit enter. So you see that the moment I do it, it is going to open the browser for me. But behind the scene, the entire stuff is going to fail for me over here. It says that the uh, DeepSeek R18 billion parameter does not support tools. So what does that really mean? So basically, there is uh, a requirement for all these models that we are using to have a tool support which can be extended by these kind of tools that we are using at the moment like the like the browser use as we are doing over here but because the r1 model out of the box doesn't support it we can't really use it for our uh, browser use as you are seeing uh, with the other model that we were using before which is the uh, gpt 40 model because it does have the uh, tooling support so that's a failure. We really can't do that. And then I just went and searched in the uh, Olama website over here to see if there is any model uh, with the DeepSeek with the tooling support. So I'll just say uh, DeepSeek and the tools. You see that there is an option called the tools. So I'm going to say DeepSeek. Uh, and you see that there are some 
uh, models from community it's like a mf doom uh, and this guy has released this model uh, with the tool calling support which is great so that is exactly what we're looking for and he has also released for the deep sea uh, coder v2 tooling uh, so even for the coder model he has released it and there is deep seek uh, v2 tool calling which is a uh, just yeah that's it, it looks like this is also one of the tooling thing that they have got and the reason why i wanted to use this r1 tool calling is because we are focusing on deep seek r1 so i'm going to use this particular model so i have just copied this thing just the 4.7 gb i think it's how many parameter is this one like 7 billion parameters so this is what i'm trying to use it over here um and i have already downloaded this guy so that's the reason why it is just going to work for me but for you it's going to be a new one and you're going to be downloading it uh from start see that i just downloaded like 12 minutes ago and this is the model that we have got over here so i'm going to copy this particular model and i'm going to go back to my code and i'm going to paste this model i'm going to save it and i'm going to show you if this runs or not but uh so if i just say uh, python 3 browser use a local large language model immediately it opens the browser over here but at least this time you see that i'm not really getting an error over here saying that the tool support is not there which means this particular model does support toolings which is amazing and you see that i have seen this behavior even before it really doesn't really do anything so it say could not parse the response so essentially what's happening at the moment is this browser use tool is really sending uh, like the page as well as the prompt to the model uh, and the the model is responding to the browser use but browser use now couldn't be able to understand the response which the model is giving to it and then you see that it is giving an error saying could not parse the response so the next goal is start the browser so it's keep on trying as many times as possible to see if it could able to uh, process that particular response but abruptly it's failing because for some reason this model is not really uh, helping us to do what this browser use is looking for so in a nutshell this model also won't work this deep seek model this also won't work for the browser use that is the state of 2025 january 29 uh, today but it may change everything in a couple of days or maybe a week or maybe months so we'll see how that goes in uh, another video but for now let's stop this entire thing that we are doing i'm going to clear this thing and i'm going to use the another model the qn 2.5 latest model this model i've tried it before it just works fine so we'll see how that works so again you are not going to use the uh, gpt 4.0 model which is something that you have to pay for every single api call but in here you're just doing all with the local model which is amazing and again, I just forgot to mention this. Before you also start running this code with the chat Olama, because you see that I'm using the chat open AI uh, library or uh, the class before for working with the, uh, with the open AI uh, mo uh, models. But while I'm using the local uh, Olama, then you, you have to use the, ch uh, the lang chain of Olama, which is specific for the olama operation and you see that i'm going to use this uh, chat olama here so that's what you should be using in order to work with the uh, local olama right so now we have all these over here and let's try to run this and also make sure that your um let's say slash by your olama so is also running so the moment I have my Olama server is up and running, that's the reason why it says that this particular port is bound. So this is something by default, this library is gonna go and look uh, like the location where this particular server is up and running, uh, like it's all baked inside it. So you need to uh, mention that as well. So you need to ensure that this Olama server is up and running in your machine, right? And now I'm gonna run this code and see what's gonna basically happen. So let's see, I'm just gonna fire up. I'm telling you, not all the functionality that you're gonna see over here may also work as expected, like how it was working with the uh, with the OpenAI. Finger crossed, and let's see what's gonna basically happen. Ah, there we go. I think there is some failures over here as well. Oh yeah, see that? It has navigated to the eaapp.swami.com, which is a good improvement already. And then it is gonna go click 
the login operation if it could uh, we will see if that's going to happen but you see that comparing to the actual uh, gpt 40 model these models are really not performing as good as how the o1 model was performing um, i think these this browser use uh, cannot really process the message which is given from these models it's good, it couldn't able to perform any of these operation i think that's the reason why we should be using what is called as a lang chain uh, where you can write your own custom way of doing it and also we can use some query languages to perform these operation because this tool is just failing uh, by just grabbing the information what it could able to but yeah look at that it is failing i have seen this behavior even before as well it doesn't really work then what i did uh, i ended up trying to download the biggest model like 70 billion parameters like it's not the very biggest model but the one that it can at the max run in my machine the olama 3.1 billion parameter so if we try to do uh, olama run uh, 70 billion parameter like that you see that if i'm going to say write a simple uh, selenium code with uh, c sharp dot net uh, if you use other models let's say uh, the qn model or deep seek r1 model the response would be immediate but in here because this is 70 billion parameter and this particular model has to load in my memory and to um, execute it takes a lot of time you see that how slow it is in order for performing even a simple uh, prompt operation and it takes quite a lot of time and if you want to run this particular model maybe in your machine you should have good gpu uh, to make this happen but at least in my machine i don't really have it uh, all i have is the apple m1 max chip and yeah you see that that's that's very slow uh, and even this even if you try to use this particular model with your browser use it's going to either time out or it's just going to stop working you see that now it's, it's very slow it's starting to work but it is to be honest it's very very slow so let me just stop this every single operation that i'm trying to do out here i'm going to say bye and i'm gonna use this particular model which is this one so i'm gonna copy this model and i'm gonna go here and let's try to paste this and if i try to execute the same thing i saw the behavior which is again still not very promising so if i try to run this it is definitely going to open the browser uh, as you can see over here and already my fan of my apple m1 is started to crank um, which it won't run ever uh, unless until i do either fine tuning of the model or using the models like this big uh, in my machine so you see that it is going to be slow but yeah the end result i don't have to just wait and show you that this is going to work it is not going to work so the end result is if you want to be using the browser use with your within your uh, local machines uh, large language model then you are going to be uh, seeing this kind of behavior i've tried many models uh, not just deep seek r1 or the one with the tool support or with qn or for, like biggest uh, model as you can see over here with 70 billion parameter none of them really worked out I think the only better way of dealing with is actually to go with the uh, the the GPT's model from the OpenAI's API support, and also even the team has mentioned that their eighty nine percentage of accuracy was achieved only with the GPT four O model, and not with any other models. So make sure that you use that model. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video, and you guys have a great day.